Now this is the mailbag which was here when I came back from Dubai. Let's start. These are servos, mini servos and the speciality here is that they are a little bit stronger than the original ones. These are SG92R and uh, they have more torque and because they are so small torque is quite important. They are a little bit more expensive than uh, the normal one, the SG92R. Uh, 90 I think they are cold so I will do a small test afterwards for a rough comparison of the torque of the two servos I use a simple layout I try to lift my lead plates as much as possible and measure the weight which the servos were able to lift I use the same servo arm at the same angle to have comparable conditions the arm is connected to the lead with a thin metal wire. The weight of the lead is about 1.5 kilograms, so I will not be able to lift it completely. The nominal voltage of the servos is below 5 volt. So I use 5 volt for my tests because I will lose a little in the wires. The servos are able to lift about 800 gram till they stall. I do not see a big difference between the two and if the cheaper SG90 is stronger. So it seems that the new numbering is more marketing than reality and you can save the money. Next one. Oh. Maybe I open it here. Ah, these are JST connectors, different sizes, and the inserts. In recent times I saw more and more uh, JST connectors on boards, so I thought I beef my assortment up and uh, buy some JSTs for the different pin numbers. Now this one is from the United States, from Oshpark. So, of course, I know what's in here. These are my PCBs. Very nice looking. And they are the PCBs for the simulator in one of my former videos. So they have still some connectors here I have to take away. But as usual, the Oshpark uh, PCBs look really nice with this golden touch here. I like them. Three pieces. Next one. This is interesting. I think I know what it is. It's not easy. This plastic. These are small microphones. They can be used for small projects where the quality of the microphones is not very important. Electrate microphones need a small circuit to work. I built it on my breadboard for a test. Obviously the microphone works. Another package from China very well packaged 
these are very cheap RF transmitters and receivers for 433 megahertz and uh, I got more senders than receivers these are the senders and this are, is a receiver the idea is basically that you can connect sensors to these senders and have just one hub to receive all the data of these sensors this is a heavy one ah, this uh, is top up of my stock of GX connectors I like these connectors because they are very good quality and I have here with five pins and they can be mounted like that so they are all 12 millimeters in diameter they exist also in 16 millimeter diameter but uh, the 12 millimeter are in my opinion are uh, the better choice for my purpose next one and this one is interesting they even have a label now a sealing label that I see whether the customs or somebody else did open the package before me so I don't need to break the seal because I have a Swiss army knife micro USB chips very small ones 32 gigabyte these days it's hard to get smaller ones so they are very cheap and um, I probably need it only for very small sizes but uh, you have to buy now 32 or 16 gigabyte uh, they are no more available in one or two uh, gigabyte sizes they seem to be from Samsung because there is a holographic sign on it the package says 48 megabyte per second throughput my tests show that the read throughput is not much overstated so these SD cards are okay for me I don't remember what this is let's check ah uh, now I think I remember I was always intrigued by a phenomenon called persistence of vision this is cheating our eyes by fast moving light sources Banggood sells a kit which plays with this topic maybe I will show you when I assemble the kit it seems to be quite challenging now this one is not from China this is from Northern Europe and uh, this I also did not buy on Aliexpress but on eBay it's from Latavia and this is why I know what it is inside because I had very bad experience with my Chinese Wi-Fi and now I say really Wi-Fi and not Wi-Fi anymore because some of my viewers told me that Wi-Fi is the right and not Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi seems to be a different word for my wife. Okay, 
So these are now the real original Alpha Wi-Fi adapters and uh, They are quite well, nice looking. I hope they are really original. Also here it's a holographic sign which really moves the size if you turn it. So it uh, seems to be original but I will uh, test them together with my cheap ones from, from China. Next one. They are antennas, two antennas with variable size. They can be extended so, like that. And because everybody knows that wavelength and antenna length have something to do with each, with each other, so basically you can adjust here the, the length of the antenna to the wavelength of your experiments. I have two because then I hope I can build a dipole. The next one has a very interesting packaging. It's not the usual paper, it's some sort of plastic. And inside are batteries. But they are not normal batteries, they are rechargeable batteries. And I got these because one of my viewers asked how long an ESP8266 can run of such a rechargeable battery. So you will see a video about that in the, in the near future. To test the LIR2450 batteries, I tried to fit them in a normal battery holder, but they do not fit. So I pulled the contact out of the small holder, printed a new holder with my 3D printer, and now I'm able to do the capacity test with my current load. I discharge the battery with a nominal 50 milliampere and set the cutoff voltage to 3 volt. The capacity is 109 milliampere hour, which is clearly below the specified 130 milliampere hour. But for the price, it is okay, and maybe it will increase after a few charging cycles. This will be the last mailbag for a longer time. Thanks for watching. I hope this episode was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye.